Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jamal Kendi from Better Drones, and today I'm going to be covering what drilling mod is, what its functions are, what mod window is, and what the most important properties that control drilling mod are. If you do find this video helpful and or entertaining, please share it with your inquisitive friends and uh, consider subscribing to the channel for every now and then petroleum videos. Let's start with what drilling mod is not. It's not sand mixed with water that's uh, subpar mud in a petroleum engineer's eyes um, in the oil feed grocery from Shlamage, uh, drilling mud is defined as the mixture of fluids used to drill boreholes it can be oil based water based gas based or uh, emulsion based so a mixture of uh, chemical additives we'll get into them in a future video because there are a lot of details about how they're made and what additives to use and when let's talk about mud being pumped so it's it's usually pumped from the drill string through the drill bit that has those uh, jets to the annulus or the well bore or the borehole they're, they're all the same uh, they're just used equally so it's the same as yes and yeah and yep it's they're synonymous so drilling mud is used to transport cuttings so what are cutting cuttings oh sorry cuttings cuttings are the bits of rocks that get stuck at the bottom of the well bore if you don't use mud um, so when you crush the rock it gets so it, it's crushed into pieces these pieces are called cuttings and you have to transport them up to the surface if you have a high density high viscosity uh, viscosity did you hear how I said viscosity oh I love it uh, so, so you, you'll have that uh, heavy mud that can kind of suspend and even lift those um, cuttings or bits of rocks out to the surface now if we don't use mud if we, if we just use water if we leave those cuttings to be crushed by the drill bit over and over what will happen the first thing that would happen is a stuck pipe which is a pipe being stuck it's, it's self-explanatory the second is high torque and high drag so you'll need more force to drill the same formation because the drill bit will be crushing the rocks so the formation rocks and the cuttings at the same time and it'll continue to do so and it'll need more power to drill the same section of rocks and that would incidentally mean that you are wearing your bit even more because it's crushing a formation that's not um, I don't want to get into a lot of detail but you need to know that each drill bit has a uh, specific uh, specific specifications uh, to crush a specific type of rock and those are some of the problems there are a lot of other drilling problems that may be affected from cuttings being stuck but uh, let's let's leave it for now and uh, continue to the most important function of drilling mud i think which is pressure control and i believe this is a good time to start talking about mud window what mud window is so uh, during drilling, you must maintain a pressure between what's called the pore pressure or the formation pressure so the pressure exerted from the formation or from the rocks or from the fluids in the formation into the well bore so you have the minimum which is the pore pressure and you have the maximum which is the fracture pressure so the fracture pressure is how much pressure you can exert so it's the first point of pressure until you start fracking that puppy and the puppy here being the formation so how much pressure you can exert on the formation from the well bore from the hydrostatic pressure or from the pump itself until the formation starts to crack so you, you don't want the formation to be cracked because then you will lose all that sweet sweet mud into the formation and you also don't want to go below the pore pressure because then you will get fluid from the formation into the well bore which uh, can which is called a kick a kick is the technical term for uh, unwanted um, or unplanned uh, petroleum influx into the well bore you gotta add unwanted in the uh, definition because petroleum influx into the well bore is just producing oil <laughs> and if it wasn't a kick then it might be a cave-in because uh, there would be hole instabilities since the pressure outside the well bore is kind of pushing on the well bore so the rocks can fall into the well bore uh, which is not good 
which is called a cave-in, and then a cave-in can lead to a stuck pipe. As you pull out of the hole, P-O-O-H, a kick can go beyond being a kick and turn into a blowout, which is an explosion in the surface. Um, a kick can lead to um, poisoning of H2S. And if it didn't lead to a blowout, uh, the best case scenario would be a change in the rheological properties of the drilling mud, which is also not good. So it's, it's better to kind of stay between these two, between the pore pressure and the fracture pressure. And um, some call it the um, operation window. In comes drilling mud, which provides a means to control pressure with its hydrostatic pressure. So you control the density, the viscosity, the other uh, properties of the mud, which we will talk about at the end of the video, to um, have the highest hole stability as well as maintain the pressure between what's called the pore pressure, which is the pressure of the formation. Again, let's why not? And the uh, fracture pressure, which is uh, the pressure needed to fracture the formation. The third function of drilling mud is the cooling and lubrication of the drill bit. As you drill into the formation, if you do this, you will feel some heat here. And this heat is, it's the same. If you, if you put water in, into your hand and then do the same, you won't get the same um, heat because the friction uh, decreases since there is a medium between the crushing and the crushy. The fourth function of drilling mud is the collection of formation data, whether it was from the cuttings analysis, so the cuttings that were transported to the surface, they can take them to take some samples and see the formation properties. Uh, it's not as accurate as core analysis, of course, because they're kind of invaded with mud, uh, but uh, it, it's used to know uh, some basic formation properties. Uh, it can also be obtained uh, by tools that um, take the mud as a conduit or as a medium to um, calculate or monitor uh, wellbore stability or the properties of the formation. Uh, the fifth function of drilling mud is providing support for the drilling string by uh, buoyancy, uh, so it's the opposite of gravity. It's not as uh, strong as gravity, but um, it decreases hook load, which is good because less power is needed, less money is spent, everyone's happy. Let's move on to the properties of drilling mud. Uh, the first property is mud weight, or it's a, it's a fancy way of saying the density of the mud, or mud density. Um, it's usually expressed in pounds per gallon, uh, or in hydrostatic uh, gradient, which is uh, PSI per foot or PSI per thousand foot. Second is the rheological properties which include but are not limited to final viscosity uh, which is the time it takes for one quart of mud to pass through the marsh funnel. Um, it's here, I think this is a good resemblance or here, I don't know, uh, of what drilling mud is. Oh, the camera is shutting off. Let's jump into the second uh, rheological property. Two is plastic viscosity, yield point and gel strength which are parameters of the Bingham plastic model. There are a lot of other models, Newtonian, Herschel Buckley and other um, models that you don't need to know about just yet. Three is the filter cake which is uh, created when the drilling mud is forced uh, against the border between the uh, formation and the well bore. So, uh, some uh, fluid called filtrate uh, gets into the formation and not, not that much, it's just a little bit in the invasion zone and that creates the filter cake. So the more permeable the formation is, uh, the formation being drilled is, the bigger the mud cake uh, and the higher the filtration is. Um, if you drill into a shell formation, which, is, which usually doesn't have that much permeability, then you wouldn't get that much mud cake because there is not a lot of filtration, there is not a lot of fluids getting into shales because their permeability is much uh, or significantly less than those of uh, say uh, sandstones or limestones. Last but not least the pH value or the alkalinity, so uh, if the mud is sour or alkyne, um, it changes the properties of the mud and thus changes the 
uh, stability of the well bore uh, internal. That concludes the first part of drill mods. Next week we're going to be discussing the water-based, oil-based, gas-based, emulsion-based mods. So uh, stay tuned for that. And I hope you found this video entertainingly useful. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you have any um, critiques about the, uh, the structure of the video or anything that you find that would improve this channel, please uh, share it in the comment section below. That's it. Uh, you'll see me guys in the next one. Hey, yeah.